Hey guys, welcome back to AJ Tech. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to uh, mod the RTX 3080 Dell edition in order to get constant uh, 100 plus uh, mega hash on Ethereum because there's been a lot of throttling issues and this mod fixes it for sure because I've been running mine for like two days and it stayed over 100. And by the way, the uh, all the parts being used are going to be in the description. And don't forget that you're doing this mod at your own risk because this is only for educational purposes. So first of all, what you're going to want to do is unscrew all the screws on the back of the uh, card using a Phillips head screwdriver. And keep, make sure you know where they are because some of them are different from each other. Then you will want to take off the back plate. Then take off the screws on the side of the card and take off the metal plate. And then place the card down and take the six remaining screws out. Once you do that, slowly take the PCB off of the cooler, trying to keep it symmetrical while pulling it up and then uh, place it really close to the card so you wouldn't rip any wires out. Then you're going to want to go get alcohol wipes and wipe off all the thermal paste that's on the die, like the chip, and then all the thermal paste that's on the uh, plate. And once that's done, take off the stickers and try to remove the residue that's left with it. And if it's not, like, if you can't take it off with the uh, wipes, try to use a scissor or something sharp to, like, get the residue off. Just try to k get them, like, really clean so the thermal paste would have really good contact between them and the, um, the memory and the dye and everything. Then get out the uh, thermal paste and then put a generous amount on the die and on the plates where the memory usually is. Because the more you put, the better conductive it is. Of course, don't put too much where like it spills all over the place, but like try to put a generous amount. Once you're done, put the PCB back on the cooler and try to make it symmetrical so it wouldn't spill the uh, thermal paste everywhere. Then put the two uh, left screws back. And then this part is optional. So you could uh, take off the old uh, thermal pads and then buy these thermal pads and cut them and put them onto the uh, back plate. It's really good to make it even more uh, like thermally conductive. So it should make your performance better like I did because I put even bigger than the ones that were there. But uh, you don't have to do this, this is only if you want to. Then put the backplate back onto the PCB and screw in all the screws back into the uh, backplate, except for the two right ones. Because we're going to need to uh, put them in after we put in the side plate. You're going to want to now put in the side plate and then screw in the two right screws. And then finally, after that, uh, screw the three screws back into the side plate. And you can see how now I'm getting 101 and a half mega hash. If you like my content, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.